Good day, my name is Yuvte Malan and I'm a Procon Support Consultant. In this video, I will share how to automatically detail reinforcement for a slab in an instant using Area Zone. In this video, I will cover when to use Area Zone while detailing reinforcement, how to prepare a drawing to use Area Zone, and I will do a step-by-step -step demonstration. When to use Area Zone while detailing reinforcement. Area Zone would be typically implemented where a slab has minimum reinforcement throughout the specific area or the whole slab. The area zone can be implemented in different reinforcement directions and heights like bottom 1 or top 2 etc. How to prepare a drawing to use area zone. All the outline entities of your slab must be polylines. Provide grid lines at appropriate spacings perpendicular to the direction of the bars where the reinforcement must be spliced. In this case, I have added grid lines in both directions to provide reinforcement in both directions. Now I will do a step-by-step -step demonstration. Open the AutoPads tab. Select Area Zone. In the command prompt it states, select polylines and circles, regions or solids. So select the slab's outline and holes in the slab. Press enter when done. Select all the grid lines where the reinforcement must be placed. Press enter when done. Select the properties of the reinforcement in the slab wizard. Select this tick box if the reinforcement entities are to be repeated for the perpendicular direction and click on OK. Now it can be seen that the rebar has been entered. Click on Expand Bar Groups as Mesh to view all the bars. If the reinforcement in the perpendicular direction is not the same, the area zone must be executed again with the correct properties. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner and Authorized Developer Trading and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.